closed-circuit television, or CCTV, in the workplace. Closed-circuit television is typically comprised of a video camera monitoring device, a medium through which the camera's transmission can travel, such as a wire or fiber or wireless transmission, and finally a monitor from where the camera's feed can be viewed live or stored for later. First, an image is captured by the CCTV camera, transmitted through the medium, to the monitor where it is displayed or stored. Alternatively, the camera can store its footage on an internal memory chip, such as a micro SD card, to be accessed later. A CCTV feed can be continuous, activated at certain times, such as nights and weekends, or activated by motion. CCTV can be found on public streets and roadways, stadiums and sporting events, retail locations to monitor the store's goods, entrances to buildings, parking lots, and essentially any place an individual may have a desire and capability to legally film. CCTV cameras can appear as the typical surveillance box camera, the smoked dome camera in which the camera is hidden behind a smoked dome to disguise its presence or where its footage is targeted, as well as covert cameras which can be disguised as countless everyday objects such as a smoke detector. CCTV can be used to monitor a specific protected area such as an office or a computer. By monitoring a specific computer, employers can ensure that important company data on that computer is only accessed by authorized individuals. CCTV can also protect important digital data by monitoring and tracking employee use of external hard drives and thumb drives. In retail locations especially, CCTV is a powerful tool of deterrence. The simple knowledge of the presence of CCTV cameras can deter inappropriate behavior because people will believe they are being filmed. In fact, according to one expert, large department stores will often have over 100 smoke domes, but only 16 to 25 cameras that are moved around between the domes, so customers and employees are never sure whether or not they are being filmed. If employees feel their privacy is being intruded upon, or if they feel that they are constantly being watched because of a large number of CCTV cameras, they can easily become disgruntled and even quit their jobs. People also fear the presence of a big brother from George Orwell's classic novel 1984, in which government cameras were nearly ubiquitous and overbearing in civilization. CCTV usage, of course, has its limits. The use of CCTV in a bathroom, locker room, or anything of that nature is not allowed by the Constitution. In 2008, the United States Court of Appeals ruled in the case Branham et al. v. the Overton County School Board that individuals have a reasonable expectation of privacy that is protected by the Fourth Amendment in a locker room and similar places, and the use of surveillance cameras violates that right. In addition, one expert has stated that the courts have consistently ruled against the use of audio surveillance. Yeah, I get that all the time. Okay. Most time you get Instead, surveillance is restricted to solely video surveillance. In the case Berger v. New York, the Supreme Court ruled that verbal exchanges are protected from electronic surveillance by the Fourth Amendment unless they are preceded by judicial process, similar to that of obtaining a warrant. While covert cameras offer the benefit of recording employees without their knowledge, employees can eventually find the cameras and will not be pleased to discover them. Overt cameras, on the other hand, can be used to simply send a message to employees and customers that they are indeed being filmed in order to, as mentioned previously, deter inappropriate behavior. Effective use of CCTV means intelligent use of CCTV, not reckless or foolish. An example bordering on reckless use would be the filming of a lounge or break area. While an employer has every right to do so, there are rarely company concerns that justify monitoring such an area. Doing so can make employees uncomfortable and create tension in the workplace. 
Intelligent and effective use that is less likely to bother employees and create issues is when there's a legitimate business reason behind the filming, such as protecting business assets and trade secrets. There are two options when looking to buy CCTV cameras. Cameras that film in color, and cameras that film in black and white. Color offers the benefit of full detailed images, but requires more lighting than black and white cameras, which can capture much better images in low light situations. The FBI offers a free video on their website which demonstrates proper placement, lighting, and view issues, as well as the importance of understanding a CCTV system. As the website states, quote, if you're going to install a CCTV system, do it right for yourself, for law enforcement, and for your community. The site can be found using a simple web search for FBI best practices for CCTV systems. According to the case National Steel Corporation versus the National Labor Relations Board and the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, companies with collective bargaining agreements must include the use of hidden CCTV cameras in their agreements. The California Supreme Court ruled in the case Hernandez versus Hillsides that employees do have an expectation of privacy in the workplace, but that the use of CCTV cameras for a business purpose does not violate that right. The courts have generally looked at privacy violation cases in certain steps. First, they examine whether or not the employee had an expectation of privacy. Then they examine if the business had a legitimate business concern for filming that would override the expectation of privacy. Generally, the courts have ruled that business interests outweigh privacy interests, but have consistently ruled against employers when there's no legitimate business reason for filming or if the footage is too invasive, such as in a bathroom. The Supreme Court of Massachusetts also found it was unconstitutional to require employee consent for filming in the workplace, but did discourage employers from overusing CCTV, encouraging there to be a balance in legitimate business concerns for filming. This does not mean, however, that employers cannot obtain employee consent. Simply making employees aware of filming is good policy and can help make employees comfortable. Finally, Michigan Penal Code states that filming in private locations without the consent of those being filmed is a felony with a punishment of up to two years in prison and or a $2,000 fine. As previously stated, however, a place of employment does not fall under the definition of a private location. Chicago, Illinois is said to be the most watched city in the nation, with an estimated 15,000 private and public cameras used to monitor the over 232 square miles of the city, with the ability to zoom in on individual license plates and faces. Officials state that they are cautious with their use, not zooming into windows and avoiding zooming in on individuals' faces unless necessary. Chicago police claim there are over 4,000 arrests made thanks to cameras since 2006. New York City used $24 million in 2009 to expand their camera network in Midtown Manhattan, while the town of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, population 54,000, has 165 cameras, said to be more than Philadelphia, San Francisco, and Boston. The Department of Homeland Security offers funding to municipalities for CCTV systems, which explains the rapid growth of CCTV use in cities. For example, New York City obtained its aforementioned $24 million from Homeland Security. At the same time, however, groups such as the American Civil Liberties Union, or ACLU, often protest this expansion of CCTV, claiming privacy violations by the government. Popular kits that can be self-installed and managed can range from $150 to $2,500. Systems can be purchased from several websites or included in security plans from individual security companies such as ADT. Retail locations and their websites, such as Costco, also sell CCTV systems. In addition, local security experts and retailers can also offer CCTV for purchase and installation. For further information, local police and independent security firms are easily accessible. Information can also be found online. It is important to remember, as one security expert stated, CCTV by itself is not always enough to protect a company or individual. It is a useful element of a full security system, including the many other options that are available today.